as y'all can see, I told y'all I put in only work when I have this shirt on, straight work. Y'all see me sweating a little bit. All right, I just got out the gym, but we getting this recorded straight up. This is gonna be a quick video on the recent Power News. If you're a Power fan, then you know that Joseph Sakura announced this past weekend that Power Force is being canceled. Oh my God. But Tommy's story is not over. What does that mean? I wanted to just put out a quick video on my thoughts on the little news that he gave us to kind of maybe get a little direction on where the story might be going. It is coincidental that we have Force being canceled. We got Ghost being canceled, but Raising Cannon got renewed for two more seasons. We didn't even get season four yet. And Razor Kaden already has a season five that's announced. What does all that mean? What's going on in your head, Mr. Suave? I will let you know in a second. But before I do, please be sure to like the video and subscribe for more power content. I got y'all with a lot on the way, more than just power, but you gotta tap in and see. With that said, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about what Joseph Sakura said. He announced that Force is being canceled after season three, which honestly to me, I'm not the most mad at. I liked Force, don't get me wrong. I thought it was gritty. I thought that it had right, some of the best familiar vibes or power series. I I mean, Razor Kanan almost got to beat, but again, like sooner or later, we're gonna start to see the divide in the Thomas family. And I know we're seeing that in Force, don't get me wrong, this man D-Mac is on some other stuff. And I think even more now that we're gonna end on like a better note in terms of at least JP and Tommy, Denard and Diamond, hopefully they get back on track, D-Mac. <laughs> I think that boy D-Mac is done at this point and maybe even Kate and Tommy because as we know from this last episode despite the news that Joseph Zakora gave us he did mention that Tommy's story is not over I think a lot of us would not have anticipated Tommy's gonna die or something like that so I think that was pretty obvious but with him saying that and the events that occurred in this past episode I find it interesting that Tariq and Monet's conversation revolved around Kate who we know is Tommy's mom basically Tariq just said that Kate Egan is involved in whatever happened with Monet getting shot and so obviously in this next episode or coming episode, Monet's gonna have a conversation with Kate to kind of figure out exactly what went wrong and what happened. And so what I'm thinking is this could present some issues for Tommy because I just feel like they're writing something to where Kate is gonna get threatened or she's gonna be in a position that she doesn't need to be in, involved with people she doesn't need to be involved with. And so that's gonna potentially have Tommy come back to New York. I know that that's kind of wishful thinking. I don't know how many of y'all might think the same way as me in the comments. First of all, let me know what y'all think in the comments about the cancellation of Force. I know it's kind of left field but y'all let me know real quick what y'all think about the cancellation and then come back here with what i'm saying but listen while you're doing that i don't know if you're on your phone you probably be able to listen while you're typing so just do both but i just can't see another reason why force would be canceling i mean at the same time ghost is also getting canceled and i just feel like this is a perfect opportunity to maybe consolidate both series into one that's kind of my prediction on what's going to happen now thinking about it i think that the playing field in ghost is getting a lot bigger and at the end of the day as i said in past videos Tariq is the main character of main characters in this power universe. Like, there's no denying that. I do not see Tariq dying at the end of Ghost, and I don't see Tommy dying in the Force. And if Joseph Sakura's already confirmed that Tommy's story is not over with after Force, I don't see what else he's going to do after this. What he's just gonna sit in Chicago and just chill and wait for Tariq to come is him. I don't think that that's gonna happen. I think that Kate being in New York gives Tommy the perfect reason to then come back to New York and see what's going on when it comes to Kate. Now, I don't know how that's gonna work because we know Kate was in the last season of Force, but I think she might have left. I don't really know how the timelines work in power, and that's another problem. Like, when did Diana have this conversation with Kate to begin with? Was it before the events of season two of, of Force, or was it after? Like, I, I don't know. Did Tommy pull up at the end of season two before the events of Force season two, or was it after? We don't know, so we can't really put a timeline of events together but I do think that this is the reason why both are canceling. I think that stars are trying to watch out for their costs. I think that they think what better way of doing that than canceling two of these series and just putting them into one so that we can have a main storyline again of power with all these characters. You know, maybe Diamond and Jannard somehow come up to New York with Tommy. His girl might come up or whatever. It might have Dre from Force come up or <laughs> Dre from The Shy, who is a detective in Force, come up as well. We might have Vic, my boy Vic. We might pull up too. You never know. It could be interesting. I think that this is an interesting spot for the power universe to be in because at the end of the day you didn't develop this universe for no reason you clearly have plans for the future and that future is not just in raising canon and origins you have to have a future with your main set of characters in my opinion and so i think that this is just the best way to do it just consolidate both series and kind of figure out the direction you want to go from there but that's just my quick thoughts on the news that joseph Sakura dropped this past weekend regarding the cancellation of power force bittersweet but i do think that this means that we have a lot to anticipate for the future of power going forward you gotta remember when the original power first ended we thought that that was going to be it. it was 
it'll be six seasons, it'll be a great show. We're just gonna end with this man to regain over on Ghost. But we now know that Ghost never die. And that's another thing that we have to consider when he says Ghost never die. What does that mean? Does that mean that potentially Ghost is coming back? I know I don't like that theory either, but why do they keep saying that? Now they're saying it on Force, they've been saying it on Ghost. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the Ghost Never Die comment. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this news that this was recorded and drop. This is a quick video, just get my thoughts, ramble a little bit. Let's have a discussion in the comments. I'll be your host, Jay Suave, and I hope you're being entertained. And we'll talk soon, gang. Ready, y'all.